हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू येट अनदर सेशन ऑफ मास्टर मीन्स पी वाई क्यू बाई नेक्स्ट आई एस आई होप यू आर यूजिंग दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड ब्रशिंग अप योर आंसर राइटिंग स्किल्स टिल नाउ यू हैव कवर्ड क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम वेरियस सब्जेक्ट्स लाइक पॉलिटी सिक्योरिटी सोसाइटी सो टुडे वी विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद द न्यू सब्जेक्ट साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इज पार्ट ऑफ यूर जी एस पेपर थ्री ऑफ सी एस सी मेन्स एग्जामिनेशन ऑल राइट एंड इफ यू सी द वेटेज ऑफ दिस पार्ट इट इज यूजली फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी मार्क्स and uh, which is equal to usually equal to weightage of international relations internal security environment part so a decent amount of efforts are needed to be put in to ace this part if you see if you have gone through the previous year questions of science and tech part you might know there are basically three broad areas from which questions are asked by the upsc in the mains examination first part is if you can say it is application of basic sciences application of basic sciences like cellulose question was asked 2022 examination second is india's initiative in initiative programs etc you can say in space and defense chandrayaan question it was asked in recently in 2023 question itself paper itself all right and the third part is recent advancements like artificial intelligence question which we are going to discuss today itself and biotechnology question all right so these are the basic areas broad areas from which upsc asks question all right so today's question which we are going to discuss is question number 5 of your gs paper 3 of 2023 examination the question is introduce the concept of artificial intelligence how does artificial intelligence help clinical diagnosis and do you perceive any threat to the privacy of the individual in the use of ai in the healthcare here it is of 10 marks and you need to write it in a 150 words i hope you have already written this question and submitted it for free evaluation so now we will start discussing the question the question is basically divided into three parts first is concept of artificial intelligence second is ai in clinical diagnosis and the third part is if you perceive any threat to privacy of individual in the use of ai in the healthcare so in the introduction part if we start we can start with the definition of artificial intelligence so what is artificial intelligence artificial intelligence is an area where computer sciences is used and analysis of robust database is made all right this analysis made to solve a problem solve a problem all right so it basically replicates human action in addition you can write the application part of artificial intelligence like it is used in the healthcare as it is given in the question itself education you can say agriculture you can say all right i'll explain by very simple exam uh, example of uh, youtube viewing you watch videos on youtube now based on your viewership history on the youtube youtube will suggest you some newer videos on the same lines of your viewership all right so this is application of artificial intelligence in your daily life you can say all right now the next part of the question is how does ai help in clinical diagnosis if you see artificial intelligence in healthcare then broadly there are four areas in which artificial intelligence can be used in the healthcare sector first is diagnosis clinical diagnosis you can say next is treatment options available all right next is patient adherence or you can say patient tracking can be done and the next part is managerial or administrative you can say so in the question clinical diagnosis part is asked what is clinical diagnosis in a simpler term when a patient goes to a doctor and doctor based on the signs and symptoms and by running through some test diagnose the disease that is called clinical diagnosis and based on the diagnosis itself the treatment is based when the disease is diagnosed properly only then proper treatment can be done of a particular disease all right now you can proceed with the heading of artificial intelligence in clinical diagnosis so the heading can be made ai in clinical diagnosis all right so heading can be made here we will discuss uh, some uh, ai examples one by one first part is early detection 
early detection in a way just assume a patient of diabetes now with the help of glucometer you know about glucometer with the help of glucometer instantly in seconds a patient can be diagnosed of higher blood glucose level and immediate treatment can be done all right if you have i will give you an example of arvind healthcare arvind healthcare along with google they have used artificial intelligence to diagnose eye disease in some individuals that is called as diabetic retinopathy you need not to write in the answer this thing in the answer but you can write about a eye disease an eye disease so this is diagnosed and this diagnosis this condition if left undiagnosed or untreated then it later in life can lead to blindness so here this early detection is done with the help of artificial intelligence and person can be saved from getting blind all right next is faster detection artificial intelligence can detect a disease in a faster way quicker way and treatment can be done in the earlier stages itself if you take example of pet scan in the pet scan software already numerous data is present data of numerous patients are there now if a new patient arrives and the scan images of that patient is there the scan images can be compared with the older data now if that image image resembles some older data having a particular disease all right then quicker diagnosis can be made of that disease and treatment can be started in a faster way so here faster detection of the disease is done for example malignant tumors malignant tumors can be detected in this way all right third part is it is genotype analysis with the help of artificial intelligence genetic analysis can be done there are some disease which have genetic markers all right like if you take example of cancers so if there are genetic markers of cancer as available then with the help of artificial intelligence that those cancer markers can be detected and early diagnosis and early treatment can be started all right so in this way with the help of genotype analysis plus artificial intelligence faster diagnosis and quicker treatment can be done next part if you see is patient profiling for example it is done it was done during covid 19 times high fever was a common symptoms and thermal scanners thermal scanners were used all right through thermal scanning areas were scanned and the areas which were having higher than normal temperatures those were detected and with the help of artificial intelligence those areas were identified and segregated in the way diagnosis can be done and you can say isolation and quarantine was done based on that so the spread of disease was contained in that time with the help of artificial intelligence or with the help of thermal scanners you can say all right so and the next part is high risk conditions high risk conditions can be detected through artificial intelligence i'll give an example of it uh, like google is collaborating google is collaborating with some healthcare networks all right healthcare networks and they are profiling the uh, population around them what is happening here is uh, google is having data of the patients or you the, you can say data of the individuals around the clinicians all right now based on that data proper diagnosis you can say data collection of a particular disease is there and the clinicians are warned clinicians are warned about a particular disease a particular uh, you can say condition occurring around them like sepsis you can say or heart attacks so the areas which are having higher incidences of sepsis and heart attacks was conveyed to the clinicians and in that way clinicians can act in a smarter way in a better way in a quicker way to diagnose and take the proper treatment steps and in this way millions of lives can be saved all right so these are the areas where artificial intelligence is used can be used in the clinical diagnosis part now the next part of the question is do you perceive any threat to privacy of the individual in the use of artificial intelligence in the healthcare so here the heading is threat to privacy so do you perceive there is any threat to privacy of the individual if artificial intelligence is used in the healthcare obviously there is threat to privacy 
whenever there is big data available in the with the organization or the institution there is always a threat that breach can occur all right we will try to cover it point by point recently i'll give an example recently in kerala in a hospital almost uh, that of almost 2 lakh people were compromised 2 lakh patients was compromised so there is always a, this risk of threat all right so let's see the threat to privacy first point if you can say is big data this hiding can be made big data is available with various organization sites hospitals you can say now how this data is protected how this data is shared and how this data is consumed we don't know about it we have never given consent about it and we have no idea how the data is getting secured so there is always a threat that data breach can happen all right for an example you can say in the in aims in aims data of almost 2 crore people was compromised all right and that's a huge amount it became a national buzz that time all right so this is an example you can write mm, second part is biases biases might occur if a organization if an organization and an institution is having data of a population now in the hiring process i'll give you an example for example a hospital is hiring in the hiring process the the hospital is having data of a particular population now if let's take an example philippines is having high incidences of tuberculosis now this bias might develop with the organization or in the hospital that they might not hire people from philippines because they have this predisposition to tuberculosis although the patient right now the person right now is not having that disease but because there are high incidences of tuberculosis in philippines they might be reluctant to hire people from philippines all right so biases may develop next point is next point is details of patient all right details of patients for example hospitals institutions are having detail of our blood reports our surgical procedures if we have gone through all right so based on these all reports if these reports get leaked or uh, some miscreants get hold of these reports they might try to blackmail us spam us all right some uh, path labs may call us to give up some uh, offers for some tests all right so such type of things might happen and also there are some disease for uh, for which uh, ta taboos are there in the society you can say like in uh, uh, tb leprosy all right hiv there are biases in the society if a person is having one of these diseases then the person might feel threat to their privacy or security if data if information regarding this disease come out in the public so there is always a sense of fear in the patient's mind if such disease is happening to them and they might feel that that their data may be leaked or their information might be shared with some other organization or you can say some other people all right so that needs to be checked and this thing should not should never happen next point is you can say used by pharma companies pharma companies can use patients data for uh, better drug production you can say all right now they are taking they might be taking data from different healthcare organization path labs etc now they these path labs these institutions are having our data and when the pharma companies are using that data or taking that data then no consent was taken from us obviously all right so without our consent the data is shared with the pharma companies all right so there is a threat that our data is shared without our consent and that is not acceptable all right next part if you can say next point is by an example i'll tell you insurance companies how insurance companies can use this data all right insurance company give healthcare insurance all right and there is some premium now if the healthcare company is having genetic profile of you can say mine my genetic profile is with them now i have some genetic predisposition to a particular disease all right if my family carries asthma all right and asthma is basically a genetic disorder you can say it carries through the generations all right so i if my forefathers or if my parents or my grandparents have asthma now i will be having genetic predisposition to asthma all right based on that information insurance company can tweak the premium they can sell the this insurance coverage to me at a higher premium 
so in that way the misuse of the data is done by the insurance company so these are uh, through some examples we have understood how the data leak or the data breach can be misused by some companies organizations or some miscreants to tweak the premiums you can say to make the biases you can say discriminate against some individual or just spam an individual spam the uh, call records of an individual or you can say uh, blackmail an individual all right so from these examples you can cover this threat to privacy part now in the conclusion you can write see proper protection of this data is required to safeguard patient safety and security for this disha is there in india disha is digital information in healthcare act all right this you can write in the conclusion part all right so this act is there in place we can make this act more efficient you can say better to safeguard the data in a proper way, more proper way you can say and there is a best practice also best regulation you can say that is in european union that is european general data protection regulation this you can also caught in your conclusion part of the answer so better protection needs to be provided for safeguarding the healthcare data of the individual now i hope you had a quality learning session today till we meet again in the next video please write the answer to the question posted at the end of this video and submit it for free evaluation if you like the video please press like and share with your friends till we meet again thank you and see you soon